The Supreme Court or the overturned is the okay. Well, we got breaking news. Yeah. No, oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, here we go. Wow. Here we go. Wowzers! Breaking news from the Supreme Thunder Court. Dome. It is official. Roe v. Wade has been overturned. Good night. Wow. Back to the states. Back to the states. We'll be right back. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Uh, Supreme Court has ruled that uh, uh, abortion on demand is not a constitutional right, right, and it will be up to the states. Now you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of protesting that acts like that that part's not and not in it. Right. Uh, but uh, as if you know, it's. I wish it had been wiped off uh, the face of our nation as far as on demand. It hasn't. What this means is that you don't have a constitutional right to it. Right. And it'll just be, since it's not covered in the Constitution, the federal Constitution, it goes to the states. And the states can do as they see fit. Right. And that means if a state says, we think this is barbaric uh, and we we have a moral opposition to abortion on demand, it will not be done in our state. It can't be forced to be done by right. the federal government. Right. And that and that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, And and I think that was what a lot of the legal scholars who uh, wanted to overturn this had said all along. It's not the in their eyes. Now, it's not to me and you, but in their eyes, it wasn't about the issue of abortion. It was about the fact it should have never been done at the federal level and that Mm -hmm. the court overstepped its bounds, literally making up a right that it didn't exist. It's always been bad law. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the bottom line. Yeah. And so that's been corrected. Um, and now his, this is historic today, guys. I mean, it really is. And all of you that are listening and watching, this is this is history. Just like um, when it was, in, it was implemented, it was history. Uh, unfortunately, we're sixty million lives down the road before we corrected it, uh, and there's nothing we can do about that. But we can do something about the future. And the and fact- then and then now you you get to deal with it on your local level at your state, and uh, you know that that really gives more control to to the people than, yeah. than the justices. And if you want this in your state, then right. you would elect people that would bring it to your state. If you don't, you would elect people that would stand against it. Right. And then you you decide what kind of state that you want to live in, and if you don't like it, you move somewhere else. So as opposed to it being a federal mandate. Right. No one has a constitutional right to it. Right. On demand. Well, it's it's not in there. Right. I mean, they, they pulled it under the right of privacy, which, you know, was kind of a stretch. And uh, I think that's what you're seeing with this. And, you know, it, it also brings out the fact that when this uh, the the opinion was leaked previously, that, that 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 actually was correct. You know, there was a time we didn't know. And then Robert said, yeah, that that is correct, but it's not final till it's final. And uh, mm-hmm. apparently all of the uh, efforts to uh, to scare justices into changing their vote on it did not work. Well, that was leadership on Clarence Thomas's part. When he stood up there and boldly said, we will not uh, be uh, scared into changing the proper legal ruling, and a, and a mob will not dictate what we will or will not do. Right. And that needed to be said. Yep. I On behalf did. of all the judges. Yes. Uh, no mob, uh, no matter how a mob feels about it. Uh, the, the judges should still rule on what the Constitution does or does not guarantee or allow. Uh, You know, a side note to this, and uh, it won't be the main story here by any stretch, but you have three justices uh, that were critical in this decision, all appointed by former President Trump. Yep. That'll give the left just another reason to hate Trump, won't it? It will, and I I do tell you to prepare yourselves because I I know sometimes you try, we try to, and and I understand it. I, I'm I do this as well to isolate ourselves for the true depravity of man. What you're about to see in response to this is going to be difficult, and it's going to be hard to watch. Uh, but it, it's it's going to be um, the the it's just the things people are going to say and the things that you are going to see on signs and and uh, some of the reaction to this is only going to solidify the thought of what you may have thought about abortion on demand to begin with. Right. That it, that it comes from, a, um, you know, it, it, we need to it, – it's a moral decision that stands in front of all humanity. It, it is serious, and it is not unforgivable, and it is a difficult thing. But uh, for all involved, and I've said this a thousand times, once one side of this argument would not allow sonograms for women to make a informed choice, that shows you that maybe the term choice – I mean, it looks good on a sign, but – 
you don't want them to have an informed choice. Right. You know, I, I think with something this important. It's a choice that we want you to make. Yeah, if yeah. I make a choice this, this important, I want all the information. Yep, that's right. And there are, are other options. You know, there's families just wanting and would love to adopt the baby if it's a baby that you don't think you can take care of properly or you just don't want. Um, and you're, and then you there there's another option, and that is let somebody else raise the child, but don't deny it access to life. And uh, so it's we pretend like this is you're stuck with it if 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 you don't want to, and and then of course you know you think about something this important, and um, you know we've all made decisions that we uh, sometimes regret. Are yep. we ma- are we made decisions in the moment, not really thinking about the, 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 what we're actually putting at stake here? Maybe this is a this this will force us to maybe think a little clearer as to thinking I've got to get out of jail free card uh, that I don't want anybody to inform me about. I just want to move on. And, and something this serious, we probably need to think it through more than that anyway. And maybe this will make make that happen, and there'll be children that uh, won't be denied life, and uh, they'll have access to either their birth parent who changes their mind or to uh, you know a adoptive parent that wants to adopt them like we were adopted into the presence of God mm-hmm. uh, as co-heirs with Jesus. We're, yeah. You know, we're all adopted. Right. And, um, you know— And we have the same rights, by the way. It, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter— um, really your position on it from the historical context of this. I mean, this is this is one of those things that, uh, you know, I didn't think we'd ever see in our lifetime, honestly. Mm-mm. I didn't either. I didn't think anybody had uh, the courage to, to do what is constitutionally correct and take this bad law and say the states have a right to this, but there's, there's no constitutional right to it. I the mean, federal he- government shouldn't be in this at all. No, you're going to see wall to wall coverage on this for the next week, but it's uh, it is historic. It is, and and uh, we're watching some of the actually what we see now is is celebrations of people who wanted it to be overturned, uh, but I'm, I'm unfortunately we'll we'll probably see the the other uh, people who are furious, upset, and uh, hopefully they too will be level headed about it. But and, and certainly let your voice be heard. But man, don't don't. Don't go down roads that that none of us need. So, so we'll see. You it's, know that seeing that overturned was just really unthinkable just a few years ago. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'd never. Th- uh, sadly, I guess I was pessimistic. I, I didn't think that I would live to see it. No. Mm-hmm. Probably won't do a lot on the fabric of our country being torn apart, but uh, you know that's. Uh, Sometimes you got to stand for what's right. Oh yeah, hey, look, let when, it fall where it may. If if you look throughout, those of us that have a biblical worldview, you see a lot of people who uh, there's always a cost in a fallen creation that is filled with darkness. There's always a price. Good, yeah. Yeah, there's always a price to pay. Yeah, to do what's right, and a lot of times we don't have the courage to do it. So uh, so hopefully, um, and and uh, this this will stand. Uh, um, I'm, I know others will try to exhaust any angle they have, and what will happen now? Elections will turn into this being the central issue of you know everybody hoping that they can put a, a court justice in there that will turn it back around and give it back. Well, yeah. if you depend again, depending on how you feel, mm-hmm. this really puts more power in your hands, the voter. It really because does. Because it's, it it's really an does. issue that should be at the state level. Right, it does. The state legislatures will deal with this, and the state legislatures are chosen by us. 